Good morning. This is M Mrs. Melinda Rose Eady, and today we'll be looking at the different parts of the respiratory system. The first part of the respiratory system that we're going to talk about is the nose. The nose is located right here on our drawing, and for the purpose of the respiratory system, the nose is where we inhale oxygen from, well, all air from the outside. And this area through here, your sinuses, um, start the process of both filtering the air and warming it and helping it become more moist. At the back of your mouth and um, nose, in this area here, we call this the pharynx. The pharynx is the area where the nose and mouth come together and it is the beginning of the tube that leads down into the lungs. Immediately below the pharynx is a piece of cartilage called the epiglottis. The epiglottis is a hinged piece of cartilage that will flip downward to cover the trachea when we're swallowing food. This prevents food from going down into our lungs. Below the epiglottis is the larynx. This area here is the larynx. You can feel the larynx vibrating on the front of your throat when you talk. The larynx is, two, is a structure that has two folds of elastic tissue attached to cartilage that vibrates and allows us to produce sound. Below the larynx is the trachea. The trachea is a cartilage reinforced tube that carries air down into the lungs. Now the reason that it's reinforced with cartilage is because the pressure difference would cause our trachea to collapse when we tried to inhale if it did not have um, the cartilage surrounding it. At the base of the trachea, the tube splits into two large sections, and these two large sections are called bronchi. Each bronchus is the one of the tubes that splits to carry the air either into the right lung or the left lung. As you move into the lungs, the bronchuses, each bronchus, splits into many bronchioles. And each bronchus divides and divides and divides again to form different bronchioles. Now at the very end of each bronchiole is a tiny little air sac. And those tiny little air sacs are called alveoli. The alveoli are responsible for having the actual transmission of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the blood in the walls of the alveoli and the oxygen inside the alveoli. So that's where the gas exchange actually occurs, is in each of these tiny little av alveoli. The last thing we are going to talk about today is the large muscle located across the bottom of the abdomen, or the bottom of the chest cavity. This large muscle here is called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is the muscle that helps us control breathing. Remember when the diaphragm contracts, it moves downward. These are the major parts of the respiratory system. Thank you for watching this, and if you have any questions, please feel free to get a hold of me. Thank you.